Uh, hello. Hello, this, um, this is another tutorial. This time, we're, um, going to be, um, talking about rendering in, um, Indigo Renderer version 1. Uh, 0 0.9, which is the latest version of Indigo Renderer. Alright, you should have downloaded, there are two things you are, need to download, Blender obviously, and um, the, the other, the other two, the uh, other, the two most important things that concern this tutorial are um, Indigo Renderer version 0, for version 1.09, also Blendigo, which is the Blender exporter. So, okay, so in Indigo it does not like the first thing you should do is take away your lamps, your blender lamps, because indigo does not like that. What indigo loves is the sun modifier, but you've probably seen loads of tutorials about sun modifier. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about mesh emitting objects, which is what indigo loves. All right, so add a cube to your plane. Make it small. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter where it is. But that cube will be our emitter, and add a cylinder, I'd say give it about 78 vertices and cut the ends as well. So it'll be nice and smooth, just like that. Actually, better yet, yeah. we'll make it an infinite plane. Actually, yeah. Actually, you know what, no, I don't think so. So, let's add another plane. Sorry about that error. Scale it up. Press S to scale it up, by the way. That's what we do. You get your camera set. Get your camera set. Da -da -da -da. Right, get your camera set just like that. Alright. Set to move. And. Just alter my things. Alright, now, um. Your cube should have all the normals spaced out, but if you're. Do it, but this shouldn't be a problem for this tutorial. But if you're, but if you're making a, if you're making a, um, a scene where it has a plane as your mesh emitting object, you have got to make the normals go out towards the object you want to shine on. See, for this cube, your, the normals are going out. See, if I wanted to, if you wanted to change the normals, you're going to flip the normals, which will flip the normals in the opposite direction. Also, oh, it's raining outside. Anyway, back to uh, our tutorial. So, to make this object a, um, to make this object a mesh emitter, what you have to do is you have to, what I always do is I always, instead of add new, I always go into browse existing choices. You'll see that there's always one there. So that's what I do. I what I what you would do now is go into shaders, and since it's since it'll be probably quite high, I suggest that you put emit at 0 0.65. See, that's already quite light. So all right, now your your plane has to have a object as well. So I would suggest if you um, did if you made the specularity a little bit low. That should be fine. Make it red so that we can see. And here. Okay, now for your cylinder, we're going to make it glass. A good glass material that I always use in all of my renderers are. I always go into mirror transparency, I select ray mirror, and I put the value at 0 0.5. Now that that will be very merry. And the index, I'll learn this, this is a crucial point. For most glasses, the index of refraction is 0 0.501, not 0 0.44. Not 0 0.33, because that is water. 0 0.44 is Pyrex, I think. And 0 0.1501 is glass that is usually, uh, usually glass makers usually use. 0 0.55 is benzene. Okay, now remember that. Right. 
Now we you need the alpha to be down at zero. That should be fine. Okay, now we'll go into your shaders. Specularity should be about one oh, should be one point seven. Be quite bright, affects a lot. Hardness should be about four hundred and fifty. Okay, that should be sound. So now you um since everything's in it in its place, you can now go to your file, go down into export and select blend go version one point zero nine brackets dot IGS close brackets. It's an indigo scene file. Right. So you get all these all these um all these different things. Aperture diffraction that's talking about that's talking about if you want a ra if you want sort of like the rainbow effect on your glasses. Uh, this should be this should be fine. This should be fine. Everything should be fine. The, in, the image size, the image size should be fine. White balance, I think, is to do with um, if you're if it, if it's on a low white balance, then it should be quite white. If it's it sort of bounces out the whites, if you know if, I, if you know what I mean, so that it doesn't look like. So I think it adds more realism. And you already and you probably know what. Focus distance means also focus. You should you should be you should be a selected 3D cursor. Selected means selected object. 3D cursor means where the 3D cursor is. What will be in focus? All right. I think this will be all fine. So if you export your scene, you'll come up with indigo. Zero, you you'll come up with indigo. Take a while to process. Oh. Uh, just sorry. This is my computer. No, this is what happens with my computer with this computer. I see. If you if you're looking down here, it's starting all the threads. It's doing an initial warm up, and it should be rendering fairly soon. Also. It'll depend on your computer speed. It'll come up. It may, if you're using a dual core, unlike this one, then you'll it'll probably come up immediately. But unlike ah, there you go. Now, now you you can see that what Indigo is doing is um, it's it, this is how path tracing works. You see now. It's kind of the material that I've used uh, probably is a bit too um, is a bit too um, shiny, so I'm sorry about that. Now you will see, yeah, you can see I now, and I'll keep doing this forever until you tell it to stop. And but it'll keep saving, it'll keep saving the um, screen by like every. 20 minutes or so, it'll keep saving the render that you're doing. So it takes about 30 or 20 seconds to um, to render, to um, add iterations if you want. So I'm just going to leave this now and come back in a few hours and we'll see how it's going. You'll probably, you probably won't see, probably the time this video will just fly past. So I'm just going to pause it now and come back later. Um, I'm just gonna. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's been about an hour, and we can see that um, the uh, we, we see that it's iterated finally, and uh, oh, there goes another one. It's iterated finally. It's very smooth. Best if you uh, uh, the only floor with indigo render is just is uh, the long rendering times, but you can clearly see that um, the core stick for the cube is here. It's very clear. It looks very nice. If I kept it, if I kept this going until the next morning, then it would probably be very very. Uh, then it'll probably be um, much more clearer. But this 